Oh, how about that? Venn diagram. What I was talking about a little bit ago. Here's our differences. Chloroplast vacuole, glyoxosome, plasma desma, and cell wall. Well, if there's no cell wall, there's no plasma desma. So those kind of go hand in hand with one another. So um, both are going to have uh, membrane nucleus, nucleolus, mitochondria, rough and smooth ER, ribosomes, Golgi, and cytoskeleton. And animals are going to have lysosome and peroxisomes. So it's almost like this right here, the vacuole, does the activities of the lysosome and the peroxisome. Um, at any rate, they so aside from the chloroplast, plants and animals kind of go through the same things. Uh, la, 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 there we go. So the cytoplasm, plasmum, cytoplasm and the cytoskeleton. Cytoplasm is a highly viscous solution where many reactions are going to take place. The cytoskeleton consists of microtubules, uh, the pro, uh, actin filaments, actin is a protein, and intermediate filaments. They're going to provide cellular shape and division, intracellular organization, intracellular transport paths, and cellular mobility. All right, so that's kind of the, the king's ransom of the similarities and differences between um, plant cells and animal cells. This is also the bulk of information. This is your, your kind of cellular foundation for biochemistry. All right, I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you when we talk about the chemical foundation of biochemistry.